what's better than recycling? Reuse, right? Repair, and we added even a repurpose on there. So an extra R to our now four R's of conservation. I want to talk to you guys about uh, our reuse and repair committee, uh, regional committee that we have here in San Diego. Goodwill, a great partner, County of San Diego, City of Chula Vista, City of uh, San Diego, and some partners to the North, like City of Oceanside as well. Our inspiration is uh, this resourceful PDX, where a lot of great ideas. Really recommend that you guys visit this website. And obviously, some of the some of the great information here on reuse and uh, fix and maintain uh, items. The great need for uh, re to enhance the repair industry and the reuse industry here in San Diego also takes us back to how we collect waste and when it gets to the landfill. Um, what can we do to gather enough of these materials to encourage industry to start repairing these items and avoid from them uh, going to the landfill? So this is a model that we uh, have seen before where obviously the first options we have before we reach the, the landfill phase is to be able to drop off a resource for it to be remarketed and reused in our communities. So examples are folks like in up in Monterey, uh, the Last Chance Mercantile, great place. Some of us have been there. They actually sort of force you to go to this area first in their uh, resource conservation park there and drop off this item. And then from there, you could go up to, there's a house master's waste facility, uh, electronic waste facility from there. After you, give, you drop off as many of reuse items as you have, then you finally move over to the landfill part or the, they also have composting on site. The concept started with first obviously having a cluster of businesses in an area, uh, the type of facilities also that are, are going to bring material in to a facility like this. And then also how do we facilitate those exchanges and those partnerships? And you'll learn a little bit about that a, a, a concept a, a little later on about that. And then the feedstock that is developed and, and, and then also the benefits. A uh, study back in, uh, in 1997 and 2000 tells us that uh, jobs in reuse Computer and textile reclamation jobs per uh, 10,000 tons per year for computer reuse. You know, it's it's and it might be a little more now, or perhaps a little less because uh, of technology now. 296 jobs uh, in reuse. So reuse actually develops a lot more of those jobs that could help a community. We wanted to have some kind of regional cooperation uh, to help out uh, this industry. And um, after uh, CRA or uh, California Resource Recovery Association conference here in San Diego, Mike from the county, uh, I got to give him the credit. He actually came up with this great concept of bringing the parties of the stakeholders together. Folks like thrift stores, uh, Goodwill, obviously, like I mentioned, uh, local governments and, and nonprofits. We had uh, help from uh, uh, Dan Knapp at one point, the, what I, who I call the, the master of, of reuse up from uh, Berkeley Urban Ore. And then uh, we created an active group, actually, out of that, those several meetings that we created an active group that was interested in it, and it included, like I said, uh, governments, uh, charitable organizations, businesses, and nonprofits as well. And uh, that reuse and repair uh, logo that you see in there, Gerardo from Goodwill is the one who developed that logo as part of his involvement. So I'd you know, like to thank him for that. So our mission was definitely to uh, stimulate and promote uh, the reuse and repair industry and uh, facilitate those cooperations. And it looks like from a lot of the stuff that we've been done, again, Goodwill has been a great partner because they actually work with, in one example, with local artists that, to help them bring stuff right out of the dumpsters and pull them out of the, the roll-off boxes and actually have the artists come in, take them home and develop into something, in something really beautiful as the examples you see up there. We would like to obviously have a model sort of like, the, or just like what we see up in Monterey Bay where there's always a first chance to drop off uh, uh, something that's reusable before you even get to the landfill. I'm sure you've been to the face of a landfill. You always point at things, boy, that could be something else, or that could be done, or that could be repaired. So it's sad to see that stuff just get crushed and, and, and put uh, soil over it. We also had materials of focus that we wanted to, uh, to really encourage the reuse and repair of them, and obviously building materials, what we saw a lot in landfills. Durable goods, obviously that kind of covers pretty much everything. Furniture, a lot of it out there, and uh, textiles and fabrics, again, a lot of the stuff that's reaching our landfills. We also started recently working with facilitating export into Mexico, and we actually worked with a SANDAG a group that um, is uh, helping us facilitate that. How do we uh, send stuff over to Mexico that's not trash, something that's durable that they can use to, as a building material, as an example, you see a house there. Those are actually garage doors 
that were uh, used, repurposed into walls. I mean, when you take those old barn doors from your garage, I mean, they're walls, basically. They're st as strong as walls, and you could definitely build something, perhaps not in California because of earthquake standards, uh, but definitely, you know, people in need could build something. So the Mexican consulate was is actually uh, helping us with this exporting into uh, uh, Mexico.